So next up, we're gonna work on generating our concepts. Equipment-wise, you're gonna want a pencil, uh, a rubber's useful, uh, maybe a, a ruler there. Um, coloring pencils, if you've got them there. If not, don't worry about it, but do keep hold of your paper copies because we will try to render those when we come back into school so we get the practice doing that. I'd also recommend having uh, open or in front of you. Um, so I've got on the computer here, I've got my some Memphis research I've carried out there. If your poster didn't have very many images on it of Memphis group products, I would recommend Googling those so you can get an idea of what the products look like there. Okay, so there was a, um, some people had lots of images, some people had just not so many. But remember, this is a Memphis group inspired pro uh, product. I'd also recommend having the success criteria open uh, and the PowerPoint you've got a copy of with this task. And that means you know what the success criteria are there. And finally, you want to have a copy of your specification open, okay? To so make sure you're meeting a specification with the concept you develop. So if you've said it's got to hold um, the test tube, which we've all said, that's definitely there, and you've said it's got to hold a set of keys, then you need to make sure that a concept meets those there. All the designs are going to be based around that template we've done. So it's going to be two vertical pieces of wood and a horizontal shelf in which the test tube um, in position in which there's a hole for the test tube there. So that's really important. That is our basis for our design, okay? Um, and you're gonna have to develop your concepts okay, in line with that there. And you can see I've also got acrylic here and that can add a lot of bright color. It's kind of Memphis um, group style there. And I've rendered those there as well. So we are looking to have it rendered. I've got the wood, a uh, pine, which is a soft wood rendered here and the acrylic rendered there as well. I've attached some sheets, which I will um, are in the channel for this team, uh, for this task, sorry. And they explain how to render, but I will also talk about it in this video here as well. So starting off, you're gonna be starting with a blank sheet or blank sheet, but you've got your template drawn in there. And you're gonna start just sketching your ideas, just using a normal pencil there. So I'm gonna do a slightly different concept in this one here. I'm gonna take a curve, just sketching lightly, and I'm bringing that across there, okay? So this is for my, um, for what the wood's gonna be cut down like. And then down here, I'm gonna add in a line which is gonna cut across there to just below where the shelf would go. So that's kind of what I'm thinking the wood there. You wanna draw in all the parts you've designed. So the next thing is I wanna think about where's my acrylic going to go? So how am I gonna fit acrylic into this here? I think I'm gonna go right in the middle. I'm gonna have a go, I'm gonna have a circular piece of acrylic here. It's only a concept, so sketching it in rough light, it doesn't need to be an exact circle. So I've got a circle in the middle there. It's quite light, but that's fine, because I'm gonna go over and darken it up in a second. Um, while down here, I'm gonna go for a uh, I know it, actually I'm gonna go for a quarter circle down here of acrylic. And so that's what I'm adding in there. So first up, I'm gonna use a brown pencil and I'm gonna go over the outline of where the wood will be. So just go over with a brown pencil there. So you gotta think about where the wood will end, where it'll start, what will be acrylic. So that's gonna be acrylic round there. So that's the outline of my wood there. And then I need to think about my acrylic. So I'm gonna go for a green acrylic, green circular acrylic in here. Nice bold outline there. And down here, I'm gonna go for a blue acrylic. And then you can take a rubber if you want and you have one, and just rub out any extra lines that you don't necessarily need. It's not too important. These are just concepts, so just kind of helping us develop our ideas there. So I've realized I actually have forgotten to do my bottom shelf. So I'm just gonna draw that now. I'm gonna have quite an angular one, so I'm gonna have a line coming out there. 
and I'm going to have another line slightly more so asymmetric design I've got on my shelf going there and again going on that with the brown. Next up you want to think about where your test tube is going to go, I would draw that in just now as well. We'll put that here, drawing as best as I can and then I'm going to draw the brown around that again as well. So we have our outlines drawn there, okay? Um, next up is to start rendering the wood. So for rendering the wood, you're going to need a yellow pencil, an orange pencil, and a brown pencil if you have them. You will definitely need a yellow for wood. So, and you'll if you only have an orange or a brown, that's fine. You'll be able to do part of it. Um, but start with a the yellow then, and it's just kind of shading. Remember, think about the grain of the wood. So the grain of the wood can go, will go along the length of the wood. So it's going to go up and down here. It's going to go across here. And it's going to go across here. So I'm just going to start neatly, just kind of rendering that there. There, We're not too worried about adding a light direction or anything like that there. It's going to be quite a flat colour uh, across the wood. So I'm just going to work away at doing that now. One thing you will notice here is that I'm always turning the paper to make it nice and easy for me to go back and forth, up and down that wood there to keep the direction the same. So that's me done with the yellow there. I might come back to it if I feel I've missed any spot there. Next up we're going with the uh, orange and we're just going to add in kind of fine grain now. Just doing this very lightly coming, coming down the wood. Remember, it'll continue down there. It's all one piece of wood, that bit is. So now I'm done with the orange. I've added that fine grain in. You can add as much as you want. You may want to do a little practice of that first. So next up, I'm going for kind of, um, going for the knots and kind of the more defined grain there. So the knots in the wood, that's where your branches come off from the tree. And we're using a pine, pine softwood. Pine has lots of knots in it there, um, and so we're going to be adding quite a few of those there. One thing I should notice there is typically when you have a knot, the grain typically kind of moves out around it. So you'll notice it kind of curves out around either side of the knot. So I'll just start by adding knot knots in a few places. So I've added my knots. Next up, I'm going to start adding the grain there. So I'm just going back over, darkening some of them up, which are a little bit light. Just notice a little bit of yellow missing there, so add that back in. A little bit down here missing too. That there is my pine rendered now. So next thing I'm going to do is render my acrylic there. So I'm just going for a green and a blue I have. So I'm actually going to start with a blue one first. And you'll see from this one here, acrylic kind of goes light and dark. That's when you're getting streaks, kind of light hitting it there and reflecting off it. So I'm going to start darkening that corner there. And come down and get a bit lighter there. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can render acrylic there. That's coming a bit lighter and then it gradually gets darker again. And anyway, we just take my rubber and just add a little bit, lighten up some of those areas in the middle there. So you might find it a little bit tricky um, to kind of render dark to light there. So what you can do, if I get the right colour pencil that is, is I can just actually shade all kind of consistent colour here. All consistent and then you can add kind of darker stripes. And fade them in a little bit. We have a darker stripe there. Let's get a wee corner of that rubber there. Just down that middle there, I'm just going to add lighten up a bit right in the middle of those lighter stripes. So we're starting to get there. We have got, we have two ideas here, um, both rendered, so that's looking all good. What I don't have yet is, and if we look at your success criteria there, so I've got two ideas, I need a third idea. 
Um, I've got my inspiration by my Memphis group there. I've got um, thought about the functions, we've got the test tube there. I've not thought about where my keys are going to hang on this one here, so that's why I've reviewed that there. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to go for acrylic rod again in this case here. You could have a hook, um, there's some other concept ideas on holding lots of keys. I just have one, one set of keys in mind there. So I think I've got a test tube holder, will be around about there coming down. So I think I want my keys somewhere over here. And I'm just going to colour that in there. And I can annotate that there. So it's not going to be striping the same way because the end of a rod it tends to be more consistent in colour because it's a little bit smaller as well. And finally, the only successful tier I'm really missing there now are my annotations. Um, so I'm just going to take these ones here as examples of annotations. So we've got shape inspired by Memphis Group, colourful shapes made from acrylic, it's bright shiny, it scratches easily. I thought about the function here, so the acrylic mounted behind the pine might make it hard to wall mount. So I'm thinking about how that's uh, going to affect the function. We've got acrylic rod used as key mount, so again, related to function. A little bit about aesthetics here, contrasting shapes. So I've got a very angular one, much more rounded one there. Function or uh, for test tube here. So annotation can relate to any part of the design there. You can explain maybe to the user, maybe you could even add in what material we've got here. So this is pine. Um, so you could add a little detail about that there, three pieces of pine. So have a look at the other examples there of what the kind of annotations are there. Well, it's symmetrical on this one here. Okay, we've got the use of line, okay, continues across this two bits of wood there. That's quite nice there. Um, but again, but it's an asymmetric design, and we've kind of got a contract, got a hard angular shape down here, while I've got a curve up there as well. So you can think about just adding some annotation there, helping explain that design if we look at it there. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for three designs which are annotated, just like that there, each on a sheet of A4 paper. Once you've got those there, you can upload it to um, the OneDrive uh, OneNote.